So I ordered these tires off Amazon. And now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go install them and see how they work. They look good. Let's go do it. So there's my tires. First thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna lift the car if you have a lift. And you have it up, remove all the lug nuts. And then I have these that go on the valve pin to let all the air out. Put it on there. And I'll let the air out and I'll do that to all four of them. Here's one of them off and you can see almost no tread there. Look, I'm at 2.30 seconds. So yeah, that would be horrible through the winter. I already went through one snow like that. And if your rims on your tires look like this, you're going to want to make sure you clean that off or you're going to have some bead leaks. Got my wheel here. I'm going to clean the rim off. <laughs> much better once you get all that corrosion off so I gotta do that to probably all of my wheels now when I was doing uh, this part here you want to make sure the valve stem isn't uh, anywhere where that's gonna hit especially ones that have sensors in the wheels uh, you don't want to break a sweat sensor when that goes in. Here I took off the center cap and I put it on the machine. Here's a, another part is uh, you see the valve stem on the top there. It's a, another part that you're not going to want to break the if it has sensors. Mine doesn't have sensors. I put that on the top so I can lift that lip out of the way. If there was a sensor, I always put the valve stem on top, right under that. Make sure I don't break the valve stem. Because on the other side, when you do this part, it gets tight against the rim and you can snap it. Here I'm showing that I'm wearing safety glasses the whole time. Here, uh, take the wheel weights off. We'll be rebalancing it and making sure there's none on the other side. And now I'm going to clean the, the rim on this so I don't have any leaks. There's also a bead sealer which I, I didn't use. I don't think I needed it. As long as I have it cleaned up good, it should be alright.
see how much more tread is on the new tires here. But right now I'm putting on uh, like a wax or soap kind of stuff to make it slip onto the rim easier. Uh, both sides. And when I'm putting them on, I make sure the valve stem is on the bottom. See, I turn it and make sure it's on the bottom there. Make sure I don't break it putting it on with the uh, sensors. And I do the same thing when I get to the other side. Push it down, make sure that sensor is out of the way. And now it's just uh, add some air. So I fill it up to about 35 PSI. And that's where I put about all my all my tires should be about 35. It's kind of a average for most vehicles, but you'd check your door for that, which I'll show later. Then we go to balancing. I put the measurements in. So now I gotta add some wheel weights. I can't move the camera and do it at the same time. You see the little shiny piece right there? That's the wheel weight. And there we go. We're balanced. Or the one is balanced. Now I am torquing the wheels. I want to make sure the proper torque's back. And uh, they're all torqued the right. Note is, uh, we do that to all of them. the driver's door. That's where it tells you the PSI, how much air pressure you should have on your tires. The tire itself does not say it. And the tire will say max of like 40 or 50. That's not right. The inside of the door is where you want to look. So I got all the new tires on and then I torqued them down. And now we can see how it drives. Alright, now I'm out uh, test driving it with the new tires on. And I can tell right away it's a lot smoother ride. Uh, the wheel isn't pulling in any direction, and uh, you can see that uh, I'm up here where it snows, so that's going to be a big help in the snow. So those other tires were really close to just being bald, like racing slicks, which doesn't help on ice or snow or any surface really. So these new tires, I forgot to get a measurement to show you because I showed you the other measurement was three, two to three thirty seconds. These new ones are nine to ten thirty seconds. So it's a huge difference. So if you like my videos, leave a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and uh, I can do more stuff.